Yep, your watermelons are growing, aren't they? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, what? They're doing good. Look! Yeah, that's old damage where the deer got it a long time ago. It's okay. That'll grow back. Yep. Well, what's up, guys? This is Daniel and Houston. And we are out in the greenhouse today. So today we're going to be using some of the products that we got in the homestead box last month. If you remember, I don't know if you saw that video or not, I'll leave a link to it. But the homestead box for the month of May was about the good, the bad, and the buggy. So we're going to be doing some stuff to um, help promote beneficial insects in our garden. First off is we're going to use this little chick waterer. We're going to put this out and maybe throw a little, few little rocks in the bottom of that tray this is nothing but just your average chick water that you can buy at any feed store with a mason jar on top just to give those beneficial insects something to drink and then another product that we're going to use is this ladybug attractant from monterey i've never used this stuff before but we're going to try it out most of you probably know ladybugs are probably one of the most beneficial insects that you can have in your garden Ladybugs eat aphids, and aphids are very detrimental to your garden. So the less aphids you have, the more production you're going to get. So we're going to try the ladybug attracting out, see how it works. I'm kind of excited. I've never, never used anything like this. I know some gardeners will actually go out and buy uh, ladybug kits and release ladybugs into their garden. Uh, we usually have quite a few, but uh, we'll put several of these. There's three. There's three uh, individual lures in this one box, so we'll put all three of those out here in the high tunnel just to see how many ladybugs we can attract. All right, you ready, Houston? You don't look very excited. I think it's too early in the morning for Houston. He just had a bowl of cereal. He don't look like he's awake yet. You're awful quiet. So it's really small pieces. I really thought there would be more to it, but basically it's just, let me get them out of here. Three small little individual vials and three twist ties. So let me explain the directions here. Um, they're very adamant that you use gloves when using this product. Uh, open the pouch, remove the lure and twist tie, open the lure cap, attach the twist tie as shown, and hang the lure on any plant or in your greenhouse or garden where aphids or other insects are present. Pretty simple, but apparently this stuff's pretty potent because it says to wear gloves. So, I'm actually gonna follow the rules because I just so happen to have some gloves. <laughs> I want some. You want some? Well, I don't think they'll fit you, bud. But you can try one. It's a big old glove. Can you put your fingers in there? There you go. You got one. Show them. Hold it up. <laughs> it's a little big. Got to pop it when you put it on, Houston. Very good. Well, I brought an extra one in case one ripped. That little bitty thing. Hmm. Smell. You want to smell? It smells pretty good, yeah. Mm -mm -mm, that smells so good. That smells so good, huh? They smell like the flowers, don't they, Daddy? Yep, kind of smells like flowers, Houston. You're right. All right, my trusty assistant has all three of our ladybug lures so we're gonna go hang them up now you think you can handle this houston you don't know i bet you can all right so let's go i think the first one we should probably hang up over here by hang up on our uh, kale so let's go hang one up on the kale all right bend it around there you go all right, good job. I think somebody's here. I don't think so. I'll be right back. All right, I'm gonna pop the lid open for you, okay? 
one. All right, there's one. I think we're gonna put number two over here by our cucumber. So bring it down here. Looks like we've got some aphids. Let me pick a leaf here. We're getting some aphids. Where? They're under there. Getting some aphids on our cucumbers. So, Houston, you ready for this? What I want you to do is to put that on this wire right here, okay? Twist, put it on there and twist it around. I don't think I can do it with gloves. Well, you're supposed to do it with gloves. Good job. All right, you got it. Can I have your gloves? Okay, now let's pop the little cap open. Here's a cute little cucumber. Yep. Well, where are we going to put the third one? Here's the last one. Um, where are we going to put it? You pick us a good spot. You going to put it by a tomato plant? Hang it on that string. Where? Just hang it on the string right here. Is it going to... Yeah, that string will be fine. Just hang it on that string right there. That way they can smell that stuff since it smells like flowers did you open it yeah all right be careful don't spill it when you hang it up here why don't you do this let me hold it you put that around the string and twist it just twist it around the string there you go keep going around and around all right i bet that'll work houston go around it over and over Good job. That's good enough. Okay, now we'll slide it down here by this tomato plant. Here we go. All right, buddy, give me five. We'll see if we can attract any ladybugs now. You can take them sweaty gloves off. All right, now you gotta put your, your waterer out so you can water your ladybugs when they come in. Can you twist that apart, take it apart? Here, let me help you. Hold on to the jar. Hold on tight. Hold on tight. There, there you go. Let's go full some water. Lift the little lid and push that button right there. Boom, there you go. Let's go. Let's go get some water. Fill her up. Good job. Whoa, that overflowed. Put the lid on. Hey, now what are you doing? Washing your hands. Washing your hands. Your hands aren't dirty, boy. All right, so let's go put our, our uh, waterer over there under the kale. What do you think? It looks like a good spot. Mm -hmm. Take it over there. Okay. The waterer, the, the, the glass jar, dude. Hey, oh. this. Oh. Did you forget what we're doing? Are you supposed to hold it upside down? Yep, just carry it upside down. But I can't. Okay, flip it over then. Flip it fast. Flip it fast. Flip it fast. Just pick it up and flip it's, it over. It's not. Yeah, it's supposed to come out. That's how the water comes out. Pick it up and flip it over fast. You can do this. There you go. Stand it up straight. Stand it up straight. Stand it up straight. There you go. Now. Now go put it over there under the kale. You're spilling water everywhere, dude. It's heavy. It's heavy. You got this. Come bring it and set it under the kale. Ooh, you're going to get soaking wet. I you, need your help. You need my help? Yes. Set it right there, Houston. Ta-da! Okay, so we got... Would you stand up straight? Mm. Silly boy. We got our ladybug attractant out. We put the waterer out. We need to go maybe grab a few little rocks and put in the bottom of that so they have something to land on and can get a drink without drowning. So we'll let you know how it works, guys. I will leave a link below it's an, an i'll leave an amazon link below in the description 
if you want to try the ladybug attracting out yourself and see how it works um, like i said it did come in the homestead box but i also found the stuff on amazon so if you just want to try it out try a box of it you never know anyways like i said i'll leave a link below in the description box and you can go check it out and uh, see what your results are so that's all we got for today houston and i are going to get our chores done maybe harvest a few things out of the greenhouse for some yeah. juice or something or guess what we can maybe go fishing go fishing yeah yeah you want to go fishing yeah so that's all i got for today guys thanks for watching houston wants to go fishing so we got to hurry up and get our chores done yeah and then we can go fishing <laughs> he knows where his priorities are huh yeah that's where the creek is that's where the creek if is if you go down there far you are gonna sink so you need a life jacket oh yeah all right well thanks for watching guys i do appreciate it hey if you like this video give us a thumbs up Leave me a comment below on, on your thoughts on attracting ladybugs. What do you do? Are there some, some home remedies or some DIY things you use to attract more ladybugs to your garden? Uh, ladybugs are great, awesome insects to have around. So thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it, and we'll see you on the next video.